right, so check this out. You got to see this. I want to show how flawed this teaching is of this idea of a thousand year reign of Christ. Uh, again, he does not reign a thousand years. All right, but let's listen to what this Pastor Cherry Pickford says. Now, I believe Jesus could return for his church at any moment. Are you ready to meet our Lord in the air? This event will shake the world to its core. Millions of believers will vanish in an instant. All right, keep I that in mind. End of the world, millions of believers will vanish. Millions of believers will vanish in an instant. I suspect the popular opinion will be worldwide alien abduction. Uh, no, the popular opinion will be it's the end of the world. We're all going to die because we have not believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, <laughs> let's go. Can I do this here? Right there. So, then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. They're gonna, everybody's gonna mourn. There's not gonna be any doubt whatsoever what's happening. Men's hearts bailing them for fear. There's not gonna be, oh, UFO aliens, cool, groovy. And many will believe that extraterrestrials are to blame. And from this chaos, a world leader will arise. That's not in the Bible. Why would a world leader arise when the whole world is being destroyed? Makes no sense. Order. He will give everyone an identifying mark, and people will gladly accept it. It's not in the Bible. In light of all the disappearances, this will usher in the Great Tribulation, a seven-year period when God's. That's not in the Bible anywhere at all wrath is poured out on the wicked and on earth I don't want you to experience this calamity why would you experience it if you're already capped um, caught up together raptured why would why would she say I don't want you to experience this today is the day of salvation the Bible tells us that if you repent of your sins and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior you will be saved talk to God in prayer right now <laughs> all right so let's listen to what she said seven hours ago all right. <clears throat> excuse me so this was um, on March 3rd now let's see what she says here seven hours ago go away to eternal unending punishment but those who are righteous and in right standing with God will go by his remarkable grace into eternal unending life now after this sorting is finished, Christ will establish his divine kingdom and we will rule with him. Revelation 20 verse 4 speaks of the millennial reign of Christ. No, it doesn't. It never mentions anything at all about Jesus reigning a thousand years. And then I saw thrones, and sitting on them were those to whom judgment, that is the authority to act as judges, was given. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God, and those who had refused to worship the beast or his image and had not accepted his mark on their forehead or on their hand. And they came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Those who sit on the thrones are probably the overcomers. From probably. All you don't know, do you? I have no idea what I'm teaching. How could you teach something you don't know? Of all time, possibly including the Old Testament saints. Those who came to life after Christ's return are said to be the faithful who died during the tribulation. Now John does not mention the <clears throat> resurrection. All right, so did you did you catch that? See, so she's saying that Jesus comes back. The believers are lifted up right and then there's a seven-year tribulation to its core. 
It's gonna this event's gonna rock. Millions of believers will vanish in an instant. Millions of believers will vanish in an instant. All right, and then comes the tribulation. All right. I suspect the popular opinion will be worldwide alien abduction. And antichrist. And many will believe that right. extraterrestrials right. are to blame. Gotcha. And from this chaos, a world leader will arise. Right. 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 Who will restore order? Of course. He will give everyone an identifying mark, and yep. people will gladly accept it sure. in light of all the disappearances. Of course. This will usher in the Great Tribulation. There it is. Boom. This will usher in the Great Tribulation. Those who sit on the thrones are probably the overcomers from all churches of all time, possibly including the Old Testament saints. Those who came to life after Christ's return are said to be the faithful who died during the tribulation. <clears throat> the faithful that died during the tribulation. So she's saying that the faithful are lifted up when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. And then, there, then there's the tribulation. Are you following? After the rapture there's the tribulation and what she's saying came to life after Christ's return are said to be the faithful who died during the tribulation the faithful that died during the tribulation so that makes no sense so we're gonna get raptured up the believers and then there's the tribulation and then there's gonna be believers in the tribulation. All right, now if you associate tribulation with the, the wrath of God, which is what she's doing, she's saying that you don't have to believe now. You can wait until Jesus comes and then see all of us lifted up in the air and then watch turn into uh, CBS News and hear all about this alien UFO invasion where the believers got swarmed up by UFO aliens all right and then you can start to believe you can <laughs> this is so this is a nonsense absolute nonsense I think that isn't that what they're making movies about the left behind I haven't seen them, but that's what I think is what the movies are about. This idea that after the rapture, you have another chance to be saved. That's pure wickedness. Pure evil. You're telling unbelievers they can wait. That's pure evil. Because they cannot wait.